always an artist? I think so. <laughs> I was always like creating. For a long time, I was creating. Sometimes I felt like I, maybe I needed to do something else. Only because when I was doing creative things, I was like, okay, well, now I need to find a way to pay these bills. I was always interrupted, and I would jump back because I used to design, and I would get put on my designer hat, and I would just do that, and like, you know, I was like going back and forth, and I wasn't like recently more, you know, like and put an importance on focusing only on that. I always knew I could create, and you can like draw well, and I had a feeling of inspiration a lot because there was a lot of times where I felt like. I even held myself back, and in the end, you kind of have to really make it a point to push that aside and pursue what you have to do, and this is what I felt like there was a switch. It hasn't even been that long, I would say five, six years, where I was just like, this is what it has to be. I was always an artist, but I recently gave myself true permission to be actually an artist. So when exactly I felt that I was an artist, always, when I actually was an artist, when I gave myself permission to be. I'm an artist. I'm doing these large African heads right now. I'm a sculptor primarily. My media for these public pieces, concrete. It is important for me to create because, you know, the creation is already there. I'm just sort of picking it up and like letting it flow out because like ideas, inspirations, they're there. And instead of just sitting on it, you know, that could be a little bit like disturbing the flow. So I just get out there, work on it. My process usually for these public pieces is the idea is there and I like sketch out what I want, how I want the pieces to be uh, seen 360 all the way around. So I create a little tiny model which is about 10-12 inches. You know, look at the piece and the, and the light, see how it would work and see how it would uh, exist in the actual site that I'm actually going to install. I take the models out to the site and actually kind of work out little aspects of uh, the construction or whatever. Then I eventually build a larger model and take all the measurements and figure out how I'm going to build it in large. So, so far with these larger pieces, I kind of have to do that to work out the, the amount of materials I would need to finish the actual piece. Basically, from little to large. This is the, a large final model. Underneath that plaster is the clay that I'm out. Life-size clay model. And then I cover it with the material to take an impression of the negative impression. And then I fill that with concrete. So that filled con concrete is the final piece, one of them. I have to do that three times to get the final piece. I have to also build in like structure like so that it can survive impact. So there's going to be rebar embedded into it and your steel axis and things like that. So far every year I make my work and, and also at this scale. That in itself is just great. It's a blessing to be able to make my work. And it takes a lot to, to make something, like a lot of parts, a lot of steps, and to actually get that to happen, it's just, there's a lot to observe while doing it so that the next time it can be like, you know, even that much more smooth. Fort Green Park, we're installing Adorn Me in the rain. This is the challenge that we're having right now. There's a few pieces that need to connect together to actually have the piece erected, but at the same time, like the rain is like causing a little bit of a stop and go. So it's really great to see the piece up to where it is right now. There's one more head that needs to be installed. It's kind of exciting to see it like this process. There's always a little bit of something interesting that happens. This is the fun part, too. <laughs> it's not permanent. I think we're excited, excited to see the end of this process. It's been a long trip. I'm trying not to say it's a journey, but it's been a journey. <laughs> and then I did sketches, did a small model, did a larger model, 
and figured out where exactly in the park I wanted it. And this is this is where it landed. And it's almost there, look. 